Welcome back to another video. We're gonna see how we can transfer a 3D model from SolidWorks to Katia V5. So this will be the case study assembly of a caliper. I will go over here and save this. And I will save this as a step file AP214. So this is the newer version that will also transfer colors. So if I go on desktop, I will call this caliper assembly one. Afterwards, within Katia, I will have that drag and drop, which will be this file. And we're gonna see how Katia will start to convert this. And we're gonna see that we're gonna have also those colors. If I will go over here from the top view, we're going to see that between Katia and SOLIDWORKS, the Y and Z axis are swapped. So, for example, if within SOLIDWORKS, I will go within the top view, which will be this one, we're going to see that the caliper will look like this. So, over here, if I will press... Um, so, in order to swap the views, I cannot press F2 since I'm over here within assembly design. But um, if I want, I can um, go over here, for example, within Photo Studio. And um, in some workbenches, we can do that. Let me just try uh, within Sketch Tracer if, if not. And as we can see within Sketch Tracer, when I will press F4, we're going to have the possibility to select the desired view. So, for example, from the, from the right view, the caliper will look like this. We're also going to see that each component will have the individual axis loaded. For example, for this roller, we're going to have an axis system, which will be that one. The same, for example, for a screw. We're going to see each of those. If we want to, we can have them hidden. So as you can see, if I will hide just one of the screws, since they are the same component, all of them will be hidden. It will be the same over here for the large component, which is entitled, in this case, um, screw. And afterwards, we're going to have the part ready for changes. For example, if I want to change the base of the caliper, I can double click over here on base. I will go back to part design since my last video was within Shape Sculptor, but I will go to part design. And over here we have the possibility to do some changes. For example, if I would want to do a cut over here, I can create a rectangle. <laughs> and afterwards, even though we're going to receive this warning that the current in work object isn't in a body, we're going to see how we will be able to do that cut. So this will be in this case 2 millimeters and this will be 1 millimeter. Okay, so I hope you find this video useful. This is how you can easily transfer 3D models from um, SOLIDWORKS to CATIA. I will just have um, SOLIDWORKS on the left side over here and CATIA on the right side of the screen for the outro of this video. We're going to see also how um, the product tree will remain the same. The only difference is that over here within SOLIDWORKS we only had, uh, let's say, one uh, name for each component, as we can see over here, so screw 2. But over here, we are also going to have that um, that second name. If I will go over here within properties, we're going to see that this will be the instance name and this will be the part name. Okay, so I hope you find this content useful. I will position a similar video over here on the left side of the screen. I will add this to, to Katia Tips and Tricks uh, playlist at the top. And I will also add a subscribe button over here on the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.